Hey guys, what's up? Guess what? My hair is not pink anymore. You can see that. I just wanted to point that out for you really quick because it's been a long time since we made a video. I said it's it too quick. So I have to, yeah. So anyway, what's up guys? Take those off. I miss this, this calmness, not pinkness, just the me and you guys talking about random crap, just making jokes. But, um, <coughs> sorry, talking too fast. Anyway, um, I just want to say hi again before I started because I've been missing and in and out for a while. Um, because I realized I was doing this for the wrong reasons. I was being too serious about this crap. I mean, like crap because I love the video game industry. It's just I was being way too serious about it. So, let's go back to the whole me joking and being stupid on camera and you guys laughing at how stupid I am. So, first of all, um, as you guys know, there is a lot of next gen stuff going on. It has been already announced. CS3, PS4, what the PS4 um, was announced and it was shown to be this freaking amazing beast of a system so far. Um, especially compared to what the Wii U is and what Xbox is claiming they're hiding until May 21st. Because, I mean, as you guys know, I'm not a fangirl, but I am a really hugely... I'm a fangirl, I'm sorry. I'm a 360 fangirl and I'm actually really, really upset by the rumors that have been going around for Microsoft because you know they're rumors but at the same time you can't help but wonder if they're true or not because Microsoft isn't denying it they're not confirming it and usually when someone is not denying or confirming something it's partially true or completely true and they just don't want to say anything about it just yet so the fact that their system is rumored to be an always online console and you can't play certain games on it, the whole used game thing going on, and just the fact that Microsoft's still going to have the live system where you pay for a subscription to different things, and you pay separately for subscriptions to separate things within that subscription. So that's really, like, that's really annoying for me especially because the fact that you guys know I didn't have a job for a while, so I start like, understanding the fact that I'm paying for a bunch of crap that I don't even use. Because I pay live, I'm watching Netflix, playing games online, occasionally depending on the game. And I don't want to pay $50 a year for the, like, I realize I don't like paying $50 a year for the fact that I can watch Netflix, which I pay a separate $10 a month for, and play online every, I don't know, once every three weeks, maybe. So, that's kind of irritating. So, considering the fact that PS3, PS4, is going to have all this stuff for free still, apparently, they haven't said it's going to cost anything, but it's apparent, like, supposedly for free, and the fact that Microsoft's still going to have their subscription system for live, is really upsetting with the Xbox Infinity or 720 or whatever they're going to call it. Because they did say they're going to be announcing it on the 21st of May. Um, before they said they're going to be waiting until E3, but now they're going to go ahead and do it. Which I was hoping with the time they had in between PS4 being announced and now, that they would really understand what they announced and how they can combat that to make everyone back, kind of like start backing them again. Because Microsoft has lost a lot of points in the community over the years because of the fact that they're so money hungry and you were hope I was hoping that they would take um, in consideration the things that Sony's doing but they didn't so I'm really I'm not really interested and kind of like waiting to see this like train wreck crash and burn and then kind of like sit in the sidelines and be like yep 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 I'm gonna go ahead and go to the store and get me a PS4 now um I mean I say that but I know there are people who are, like, who are still going to buy the new Xbox just because. Because we always say that we're not going to buy something. But when it comes out, you're like, whatever. Whatevs. So, that was a thing. Um, as far as everything else in the gaming industry, I'm not really interested. I mean, in all honesty, I hate to say this and be that person. But I'm not so excited about new consoles. I'm not like, oh my god, PS4 and Xbox Infinity and that Wii thing they're doing. I really don't care. Um, cause I'm more interested in new franchises than I am with consoles. And I was really hoping that they would just decide that let's just make better games and stop worrying about the features of our game system. Cause in all honesty, how much time do you spend in the dashboard or in PSN or whatever? If you're not using a different app, like, I mean, just in the native app itself, how much time do you spend on the dashboard? Most people, that's like less than five minutes for me, especially unless I'm looking for something to buy that I'm playing that once I buy it. So, or download it. Um, but it's just the fact that you put so much crap into your freaking dashboard, no one spends time on that thing. I mean, I don't look at Facebook on my Xbox. That's confusing and frustrating, and I don't need to do that. There's like a phone in front of my laptop in front of me. 
I don't need to use my Xbox or Facebook and Twitter and YouTube. I really don't. I mean, unless I'm like really bored and I'm like lazy and I don't want to reach anywhere and I already control it in my hand. But <laughs> it's like laziness. But in all honesty, I really wish I would stop trying to fix these stupid dashboards and, and console like update system crap and just give me a better game. Stop focusing on that crap and give me a better game. Because most of the games I've played in the last, I mean, like two or three years have not been that great. I mean, they've been good ones here and there. But most of the games that come out nowadays are very unpolished, very unfinished, and it's just frustrating to play them. Because there's a lot of games that I've supposedly like had review and I just couldn't finish it or couldn't do it because it was just so frustrating. So, I mean, I was more hoping that people would... I mean, that's why I was saying before I really didn't want there to be a new gen. Because of the fact that I was wishing that people would focus more on new franchises and, and perfecting the franchises that they have already going instead of building a new console completely and building new crap to deal with because every time a console comes out there's new issues and new like bugs in there it's gonna take like four more years to fix and i don't know i just feel like it's not necessary um but that's just me so i just want to say hi again because i missed you guys faces so much it hurts in here <laughs> but um that's about it i'll see you guys later tell me what you think down below about the new consoles and the franchises and what you think about everything go like me on facebook follow me on twitter and all that good stalkerific stuff down in the description down in my nether regions now see you guys later